Hello, this is Brandon Pulleyout with the Center for Excellence in Teaching at Laramie County Community College. I um, want to talk to you a bit today about uh, the Respondus Lockdown Browser, which I know is popular with folks. So um, we want to make sure that you're prepared and your students are prepared for uh, for using it. So we're going to go over a couple things and a few little bugs that we've, we've kind of figured out or run across over time. So I've created a practice quiz here. Um, I'm going to... Um, share this out on Commons uh, so that you can pull it down into your course. I'll call it like Respondus Lockdown Browser Test Quiz uh, so that you can search for that. I'll put LCCC in there as well um, so that you could just search like LCCC Respondus and you should be able to find this. Um, the quiz is set up pretty easily. Um, we've got information here, hey, intended to be used as introductory and ungraded. Um, we'll go ahead and click Edit here so we can take a look at the setup. Um, you can change this stuff if you want to create your own practice quiz, that's fine. Um, we're going to do things like we can shuffle answers, you can set a time limit. Uh, I have this set currently to allow unlimited attempts. That's a best practice for uh, doing the practice quiz. So if you have students who have high anxiety uh, or, or want to make sure that they're using Lockdown Browser correctly before each exam, that they have the opportunity to do so. Another thing to look at down here um, is uh, under letting students see their uh, quiz response. Uh, pardon me, uh, only once after each attempt and seeing the correct answers. A couple things that um, I would take a look at here is uh, if you are having your students use Respondus Lockdown Browser and you only want to see want them to see their uh, answers to their questions once directly after they submit their exam. Uh, you can check these three options. You'll see, we'll go back in here once we turn on Respondus, and uh, you'll see there's one extra option that we don't want to check. Um, so we'll take a look at that in just a minute here. Uh, down below, do not check show one question at a time if you're using Lockdown Browser. Uh, there's a bug that Canvas and Respondus are working on, uh, but currently uh, you don't want to check that as it can present problems with uh, looking at results to a quiz or with uh, even just taking the quiz. So um, if you're going to use Lockdown Browser, uh, just leave the default at not showing uh, only one question per page. The rest of this is all up to you. We're not going to go through it, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and save my changes here. Uh, we're going to go ahead on the left-hand side, go and look at Lockdown Browser. If you don't have it there, you want to go into Settings and the Navigation tab and move Lockdown Browser up towards the top portion of your screen and click Save at the bottom. But this should look very familiar once we click on Lockdown Browser. This kind of looks like what it looked like in our previous LMS. Uh, you can see in this Lockdown Browser column whether it's required or not. Uh, and we can see that my test quiz does not have it set up yet. So we'll go ahead and click that. We'll say we're going to require. And you have uh, settings pop up. Now you can put in a password here. Uh, you can also put a password on the actual exam in Canvas, the quiz in Canvas. Doesn't matter which one you do. I like going through Canvas because then all my settings are there and all I have to do is turn on the Lockdown Browser and I'm done. Um, we have here require Lockdown Browser to view feedback and results uncheck that. Um, we've discovered an issue where if you are requiring Lockdown Browser to view feedback and results and you only allow one attempt, um, students can't see it at all. So if you're only allowing them to see their answers uh, one time, uncheck this box. If you allow them to go back and review it as many times as, as they want, uh, but you want them to be in Lockdown Browser, you can leave this checked. But with the settings that we set up for this practice exam, which is only allow them to see once after every attempt, this box needs to be unchecked. Once you've set that up, you can click Save and Close. Uh, it'll collapse everything, and then we can see that uh, Lockdown Browser is required. If I go back to my quizzes page, I can see, hey, it changed the name, res requires Respondus Lockdown Browser, uh, and then uh, you can even go into your modules and you can add this to your modules as well. Um, we can go in and preview this quiz. I will tell you uh, that because Respondus Lockdown Browser requires uh, us to um, have an Active Directory account, it's a little bit weird when we go in, but we can go in as an instructor. So if I preview this, I can see all the questions here, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and I can even submit. So let me go back for a minute we're gonna go we're gonna go home 
Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and close this all together here. Uh, and then I've got Lockdown Browser right here. Um, if you don't have Lockdown Browser and you go in as a student, um, I probably should have shown you that. Let's go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and log in. So if I go into my course, let's go to Student View. We've got quizzes here, so that's fine. Uh, we can see here's my test quiz. Uh, and if I go and I click on Take the Quiz, uh, it's going to tell me that, hey, I need Respondus Lockdown Browser. This link right here is the easiest way to get Lockdown Browser. Uh, you can install it straight from there. Uh, once you click install, it'll download, then you open it, click next, 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 and then you're done. Um, you can see a video, quick video right here of uh, the features of Lockdown Browser. So we're going to go ahead and close everything. This is the process that students must follow. You must start Lockdown Browser first. On your own computer, uh, you will see this, hey, it wants to make changes. You can say yes. It will load the Lockdown Browser. Tell me if anything's running, which it's going to be mad about Camtasia. Uh, so we'll go ahead and say that. Yep, we can close that. Snag it editor. I don't really want to close this right now. It's going to make it really hard to be able to uh, actually log in. But um, all it's going to do is it's going to take uh, students right back to the page uh, where they can log in. So that same one that we just saw, the Active Directory, uh, right up here. And uh, then all they have to do is sign in, and it's the same thing of navigating to their course uh, and then into the Lockdown Browser. Once they hit Submit, um, they will be able to see those answers with the way that we've set this up. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. The CET can definitely help um, faculty with Respondus Lockdown Browser. Um, any kind of issues that students have, uh, you may have them contact Canvas support first. We do have a couple of directions that they can be given on that. Um, and if, if faculty uh, want to play intermediary, that's fine as well. But as long as we have the practice exam set up so students can get comfortable with using uh, RLDB prior to uh, the semester starting, that's going to be a best practice. So uh, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out CET at lccc.wy.edu or 307-778-4363.